we consider this, we truly do the biggest advance in orthodontics in a hundred years. Because up until now, orthodontics was what? Material improvements, materials, materials. No one has ever been able to manipulate the bone and make it grow. All we're doing is that, fooling it. Do you understand me? This is crucial. The movements you'll be doing with fast braces have nothing to do with the movements you've been doing with traditional braces. Because traditional braces do not activate the roots right away. See ya. Do you understand this? The, anytime you start with a round wire, what happens? No root movement. It's tipping. So when you're tipping, you're pushing the bone. And therefore you can have dehiscence. You've got to energize the root right away. It doesn't matter. All you're getting with a round wire is tipping. That's it. It's impossible to activate the root if the bracket rolls, at least in this direction. Nobody else out there who has the wisdom and the guts to make these sorts of statements about orthodontics. If you were to see eruption, think of the canine. How is the canine erupting in the bone? The bone gets out of the way and the root of the canine forms. Are you with me? The, can the, root get the bone gets out of the way. Why? How does the canine root form? How does the bone get out of the way? Huh? Very, very, very light pressure from the formation of the cells of the root. And the bone actually responds. It gets out of the way. It resorbs and then forms around the root. I'm so impressed with what Tony has done over the past 20 years and to just give back into the, into the profession, the way he's doing it globally is just amazing. I mean, to invent such a, a fantastic product and make it available to the general dental population is just something remarkable and something to admire in this man. How long do you think she took to do this case? Let's talk about months. Under seven months. How many visits, Melissa? Five? Yeah, how many wires? One? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Five visits, maybe. Maybe six? What did she do by moving the roots? She fooled the alveolar bone into thinking that the roots were erupting because the forces of our technology are so low that the bone grows because it thinks that the root is erupting. He's created things that are just outside of the thinking of most uh, orthodontists, and it's a gift to us. If we don't use that gift that he's given us, I guess we have that option. But frankly, all humanity uh, will benefit from his, his great insight. You just have to look at it differently.